female boxing wasn't a big thing. I didn't grow up thinking I was going to be a boxer. I didn't grow up wanting to be a boxer. It just came naturally when I started training at the gym. I was never forced into it at all. If anything, I kind of forced mum and dad to let me do it in the first place. It was actually after years of boxing that I even was like, hold on a minute, this is what I want. I want the Commonwealth Games. I want these medals for Australia. Training's harder than the fights. The fights is easy work if you've done the hard training. My biggest battles are definitely in the gym and that's where I have to have those mental battles, where I have to push through that wall and say, no, I'm not gonna slow down, I'm not gonna stop here. Mental toughness is equally as important as your skills and your fitness and your strength. I remind myself how hard I've trained. I tell myself, you've worked for this, you've earned this. It helps push me through. When you're in the ring, you know you've done all you need to do. You train hard, you fight easy. My family's heavily involved in boxing. My brother achieved a hell of a lot in his short life. Jamie and I are brother and sister that never met. He passed away when he was 22, a year and a half before I was born. He was an Olympian, a school teacher, graduated from university. He was just a pretty unbelievable person. I started boxing when I was 12. Jamie was 17 when he went to Elite Men's World Championships and he won Australia's first World Championship medal. And last year, I went and won Australia's first Elite Female World Championship medal. <laughs> Boxing gave Jamie and I a relationship without even knowing each other. I feel like when I fight, he's in the corner as well every time I step through the ropes, so it's not just me fighting. Boxing on the Gold Coast in my hometown in a stadium full of people that are all there cheering you on would just be the most surreal feeling you could ever imagine.